Next, a new documentary captures the power of art to change lives. STEP follows students from the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, or BLISS. It's a middle and high school. As an art form, STEP started in Africa and became popular in the United States as it was adopted and transformed by members of predominantly African-American fraternities and sororities. BLISS has one primary goal for its students, 100% college acceptance. But you'll see that was not the only success. Have a look. Step is not dance. Dancing or step dancing or a dance number, no, it's step. And step is life because it taught me a lot about myself. Making music with your body, your body makes the percussion. Clapping, stomping, military movement, spoken word. We are the show takers, the Gymnastics, cheerleading, making literally music with your body. Step was the first place where I could practice my natural abilities, being a leader, teaching discipline, learning how to be disciplined. I'm Blessing Geraldo. I'm the captain of the Bliss Step team, also the founder. I was their first step team advisor, not their coach, but their advisor. My name is Paula Dofat. I am the director of college counseling for the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. I was hired just to coach these ladies. My hidden agenda was to mentor them. My name is Gary McIntyre, also known as Coach G. She wanted us to use our voice. Being black women, not only a minority, but from an urban community like Baltimore. I want to have three main principles that we follow. Solidarity, discipline, and self-esteem. I like this step because it's empowering. It's a form of art that brings us all together. Believing in someone plays a huge part of confidence and performance and the outcome of the common goal, which for us was to go to college. I was put on this earth to do this kind of work, to be a college counselor, to help students to get from point A to point B on their success plan. I have a purpose and no matter what you're doing, when people show your appreciation, you, you feel refueled and you feel like your purpose has been met. And it kind of makes me really emotional because I don't know where I would be without my school. And I feel like I was put in this predicament. I would consider myself one of the lucky ones from our city. I think without the structure of Bliss, Step, and Paula Dofat, a lot of these girls would be lost as I was when I graduated high school. From the time they come in in sixth grade, they're taught about self-advocacy. They're taught about the support of their sisters. They're taught about taking responsibility for their actions. I wouldn't blame anyone else but myself, but it was something that I had to battle with every day to not be defeated. Not having the best amount of support in my immediate environment, which wasn't at Bliss, or maybe not having food in my refrigerator or not having the lights. Step, I truly think, is what gave them the discipline, what gives them the drive to keep on going academically because you can't be on the step team if your, your grades are not right. Left, right, plant, here. Being a subject of a documentary, signing up for that, it wasn't easy. It was really hard, you know. You want to inspire, but in order to do that, you have to be honest. And that's how you lead with integrity. Most people, the first thing they, the word that comes to mind when they've seen the film and their reaction is that it's inspiring. Not just their struggles, but how they triumph over their struggles. Because this is not it for me. It's not brave if you're not afraid. So moments when I felt like I didn't want to cut the camera off, I knew that that moment was probably a moment of where I might have felt embarrassed or had to take a double take of if I wanted somebody to see this. We are absolutely exceptional, but I don't think we are the exception. We did it in year two, class of 2017, 100% college acceptance, and we took it up one notch. 10% of that graduating class are on full ride scholarships. The day the documentary premiered in Baltimore, there was no murders that day, August 4th. And to me, I felt like that was a symbol of how much this movie can unite people and change people's perceptions of Baltimore. 